so routing guards there are different there are three types of routing guards available so first one is the global and the next one is the component based or routing router based uh, what i can say is root based root based and the last one is the component based so first we will try to learn about the global guards so what are the global guards available so the global guards available is the before each and the after each so these two are the things which are available i don't know after each they have mentioned it or not so before is all leave it yeah after each so before each and the after each so these are the two routing guards which are available what are these before each and after each let's try to see so where we can use it is the so here when the router has been initialized so we can write this before each so router dot before each so before each means whenever we are moving from one route to another route so that means from one path to another path when we are try when we are trying to move before moving this this execution this method will execute so here it, you will be having two parameters to and from so from where it is moving and from where it is coming so to and from so here you can write console.log2 to and also i can use console.log up from console.log up from where it is going yeah console.log up from so these are the two things before each to and from so these are the two parameters it will be having third parameter also we will have we will discuss it so two means <coughs> from where from, from to which route it is going so from means from which route it is coming for example let's say that i will try to show you here the demo so here i am right now in the from i am right now in the post okay let's refresh this page i am right now in the post page okay i am right now in the post page so i am moving from post to the contact so that means here from is the post and two is the contact so now, now what i have did it here to and from okay vice versa i have did it okay now no problem so i am moving from post to the contact so here two means contact from means post so i clicked on the contact here see it is moving to contact from the post so this full path we are able to get it from the before it so whenever before moving to this one so we will be able to get this output okay by default it is uh, written true it will have where for example you don't want to pass it so you can use the return false so then it will not move from one route to another route for example now you will get an empty screen <coughs> so here you'll be able to see post contact you'll be able to see so he is trying to move but it is move not moving why because we have written it false if you make mention it as written true by default it is written true only so if you mention it as a written true then we will be able to pass it so here see so now i passed it as written true so now i should be able to see i think i didn't save it i think yeah i didn't save it so let's try to see it now when i try to check this one false true what is this happening okay 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 yeah so returns true return true i need to do it one second so now here we are able to see so we are not able to pass it right so return true we are able not, we are able to move into this one so here when i am clicking on this one everything is working fine but here i am able to see that from to where it is going from where it is coming before moving so before moving so from when when we are moving from one yeah where is that for example sorry so yeah when we are moving from one route to another route we are able to see right written true so that means before each means what you can see is when we are moving from one route to another route before moving so if you want to do something you can do it here for example let's say that uh, if two dot path is equal to is equal to slash post so when when this one is moving to post means so don't move it to the post so i can write something like router dot i can use this one router dot push to slash contact i want to move it to slash contact so i can write it here like this now if you try to see the output so in the home page it will try to load the home page about it will work contact it will work everything it will work now when i click on the post it will go to contact see why because here it is trying to check the two dot path so that means it is moving to post page i don't want to move it to the post page then i need to push it to the contact so here you can my you can you can redirect it directly instead of writing in the uh, instead of writing there in the component mounted or somewhere so you can write it here only before each and you have an another option that is nothing but next so you when you provide this next okay so when you provide this next option must and should you need to use this next so now if you try to use here nothing will work see 
nothing will work now you used it now you are using a third parameter when next is there means first and should you need to pass the next so here let's do it so let's remove this unit condition so that means when you want to pass next means you need to pass it as next okay by default if you don't mention anything it will be true if you don't mention anything the default parameter is true so next means then only it will work so here see contact about everything is working fine for example if i don't want to pass it means i can use next false next was false so now it will not move uh, empty screen previously written false how it will be working same thing like that only it will work now here what i can do so here what i can do here <clears throat> if same thing if two dot path is equal to is equal to slash contact is there if contact is there means i can pass it to next of okay so like this i can use it path to slash post so if contact is there means if i click on the contact i need to go to the post or otherwise it goes normally i can use it like this also so that means if you are going to contact page don't go to the contact page go to the post page i am trying to tell you so now here i can use it something like so here i am in the home page okay everything is loading fine so now i have written in such a way that if i click on the contact page go to the post page see i am moving to the post page also so like this using the next week instead of using the router push you can also use the next also not only like this so post has a name right so you can also use the named parameter so here name is equal to post so you can use the like this post name is equal to post so you can use the name also why we are having name right the name is equal to post yeah so instead of having like this you can also use the name so then if you want to see the output then also it will work here see it is going to the post so this is about the router dot before each so now this router executes all the time so whenever we are moving before moving to one route to another route this router dot before each will execute so here i can say simply that console dot lock global before each we can have it something like go global before each so this one is a global before each and i need to it's compulsorily i need to use the next so repeat in the condition you can use it so by by default i am using like this only. so now whenever i am moving from one route to another route so global before each will execute so that is the thing you need to understand so global before each will execute so here you'll be able to see it four times it has been triggered in the same scenario you have an another type of global navigation guard that is nothing but router dot after each so this one is after completion of the movement so after completely moving to the root this after each will re, uh, execute so here this one will be having to and from this doesn't have any next why because it has already been moved to the root so there is no need there is there is uh, nothing for us to stop so it has already moved to the post page or something or some other page and it has uh, and it has successfully moved it so we cannot stop it there after after completion of the after completely moving so we don't have a next here so when we use this one is for example after completion of the movement if you want to send some analytics report or anything means you can write it here so this one is nothing but console dot global after each okay so it's the same thing to and from whatever the to and from you are having here here also it will get same thing but you cannot stop it here if you want to do some analytics report or some some other thing if you want to do it means you can do it here now if i go here see before each is executed then after entering into this one after each is executed in the same scenario you'll be able to see go before each and after entering it is doing this after each so these are the two global navigation guards which are available in the view router so these are globally so that means for every routing it will execute so if you try to observe if i'm trying to tell you so for every route wherever you are trying to press it so this one these two routes will execute so one is before entering and another is after successfully entering into the route it will these both will execute so these are globally available so for all the navigation if you want to execute a particular action means you can use before reach and after reach global navigation methods so we have another type of things that is nothing but per route section we'll try to see those things also